Chapter 7. Agrians, in the deep void of space, a giant world drifts, with no star to shine on it, only a flickering light, no planets to call neighbors, only shattered rocks, above the earth and beyond the moon. In their shadows lies Terra Hipt, stationed to retake their lost knowledge after a dreadful event that took their past homeworld. Hidden, not even the sun can reach it and illuminate its presence to the earth. Over at Lupra's home, a small artificial star light up the sky's blue. Plants flourish, and fresh oxygen is stable across the enormous Zerzak. Zerzek is the designation of a mobile piece of land that can range from a small house to an entire continent. A natural reserve held together by the greatest engineers in the universe, the Agrians. Terrain is held together by fluctuating oceans of sand, sand of which are small silicate robots that can stick together and move. It is called super sand. It forms a membrane like that of a cell. And underneath is a vast space of air and machinery holding everything up rocks, cliffs, and mountains, and it devours any trash that is either thrown or lost to, then be recycled. It can range from a single cup to a great shipwreck. The Agrians are an independent faction within the Cabrian Omniri, Scythus' world. They take matter into their own hands to maintain these lush gardens of plants and animals, humans and Thilians included. Terra Hipt is the largest Hiptian Zerzek, a living archive of a great planet which is now burning in the cold depths of space. Lupra is sitting at her desk. Pirizuka is resting nearby. Lupra caresses her hair. What in the world is my sweet child getting herself into? Lupra sighed. She is going through Pirizuka's work reports. She is reading the last few ones. Fatigue, unfulfillment, desperation, admiron, and then a Dutvatanian relic. She is trying to find anything regarding the admiron on the Terra Hyptian network. But it all goes back to Eluxa, the event that shattered the old planet that Terra Hypt is trying to keep intact. Then her doorbell rang. She did not expect anyone. And with everything that happened recently, she hurried to the door and opened it. Outside was Argyll, standing. Argel! Lupra yelped. Can I come in? He politely asked. Lupra immediately stood aside and held the door open. He floated in with the bronze horns of his Agrian helmet brushing against the door frame. Lupra looked outside for any company, but he came alone. She closed the door. I have noticed that there has been an unlawful usage of septo travel. Would you explain to me what that is all about? Argyll said with his big forearms on his hips. Ah, yes, right this way. Lupra walked briskly to the back door and presented Pirizuka Zerzek with a Dutvutanian scepter blade on its side. Argal floated towards it. Is this another one of your silly machines? Argal asked. Lupra quickly interjected, No, no, my child Pirizuka was given a Dutvutanian relic from an Edmiron on Earth, and it attached itself to the Zerzek, blasting her off to Dutvutan. Argal just hovered there inspecting this Dutvutanian tool. You will not be punished by breaking the law, judging if you can help me understand this Septoblade better. I've also thought about giving the overseers faster vessels and better sensors, and I can say that this tool can do both. Argyll turned to Lupra. Can you pilot it safely to Agratirda? He asked. Wait, you want me to drive this thing to Agratirda? Lupra got a little bit shocked from his request. She has never been below the sands of Terra Hypt. She is unsure how to navigate through the insides. This is not going to be hard, Mythilian. I will stand with you and tell which way to turn. All of this happens so suddenly. It is as if Terra Hypt is very keen on protecting their clandestine nature. Before heading off, Lupra wanted to go in and see if Pirizuka is feeling all right. She was still resting. She could see her eyes look at Lupra. She looked so done with everything. I will take the Zerzek away with Argyll. I will come back for you. Korsudra might also return home. Pirizuka turned to the other side. Lupra went to the fridge and brought out a can of mineral water for her. She placed it on the table and walked out to Argyll. They entered the Zerzek. It lifted up and flew off. <laughs>